Good evening everybody and today we're going to have a look at Project Euler problem number 24. Uh, I've had a quick look at this and uh, a quick scout around on Hoogle which is the uh, Haskell search engine. Uh, I'll show you that in a moment just so that you can see what I looked up and I think that this one should be solvable as a one-liner. Sometimes the Project Euler problems really are very, very simple indeed. So let's have a go with uh, what we know about Haskell. So we're looking for a lexicographic permutation of the digits 0 to 9. And uh, rather conveniently, Haskell has in its list module a permutations function. So let's have a quick look at that. Let's give ourselves an interpreter and bring in the list module. First of all, let's have a look at permutations. So permutations takes a list of anything and gives us back a list of lists of that type of thing where if you read the documentation, you'll see that it generates all of the permutations of the elements of the input list. So if we just try it on uh, 0, 1, 2, which I believe was the example that we were given, the lexicographic permutations of 0, 1, and 2, are these six values here. So if we retrieve those, we get 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 0, 1, and 0, 2, 1, which aren't in this order. They're not in lexicographic order. Fortunately, we get a sort function out of that list module as well. And by running that, we get 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, which is the sequence that we were expecting to see based on that. So we want to know what the millionth lexicographic permutation of the digits 0 to 9 are. Um, because Project Euler is written by human beings and not by programmers, uh, the millionth permutation I'm going to guess will be the 999,999th entry in the list that we generate because I think that Project Euler will think that that is the first permutation of those digits and that is the second and so on, whereas we would think of that as the zeroth permutation and that as the oneth. So I'm going to go ahead and ask for the sorted permutations of all of the digits. Um, let's just calculate the length of that because that's going to force the value because the compiler can't just optimize and, and, and do an NPR for us. So that's going to tell us approximately how long it will take. I'm guessing not very long because ultimately it's going to be creating somewhere in the region of 3 million values. I think 10 choose 10 is in the re region of 3 million. Um, oh, my laptop is now warming up. So <laughs> however much it's doing, it's doing, there we go, three and a half million. It didn't actually take that long, certainly not long enough to warrant trying to write a cleverer solution than that. So I'm just going to ask for the 999,999th entry of that list. Uh, you probably want to look away. Uh, actually, this is quite cute. Uh, it started off the double quote because it knows it's going to be a string and now show is waiting for the uh, rest of the computation there's an answer. Let me just hide it off the screen and go back and feed it into Project Euler. Type in the code and check. And we got that right. So rather sad, but that is the entire solution to problem 24. I will be doing some slightly more directed videos, hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, specifically initially looking into building parsers so I hope that uh, you guys will follow me through sort of an adventure into parsing. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you put in the comments any suggestions for videos or ideas that you'd like to see then I will do my best to respond to everything. Bye bye. Ah, I bet you thought that I had forgotten but I did promise to show you very briefly what Hoogle can do for you so I actually have a Hoogle keyword set up in my Chrome and I literally did Hoogle permutations and Hoogle which you can see here is at www.haskell.org slash Hoogle 
very very quickly came back with well there's this permutations function here and if I click on that then it says the permutations function returns the list of all permutations of the argument which was exactly what I was looking for which is why I decided it was going to be a very quick video so thank you very much and uh, I will see you next time bye bye